Alright, so he wants us to look at the court record and the Grand Grimoire, right? Case outline. Turn Professor Layton into gold. We know about the wall being painted green. Crime scene floor plan. Touch the details to see more. Hmm. Nothing there. The gold door and Familia magic gems. Okay. Hold on. Where's my stylus? Nothing there. Huh. Turn it to go through the spell Gold Door, Arm Reattached. So much for the magical familiar from the shadows. Although it possesses a physical form, it is completely weightless. Transmutes the caster's target into solid gold. This will transmit the closest target within range. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The closest target within range. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is save. In case I screw up. But the closest target within range of the scepter was Maya. Right? Hold on. Keep pressing the wrong fucking thing. Maya was closest to the scepter, not Professor Layton. At least that's how it looks. Huh. Okay, so that's one thing that I don't believe. Okay, now what the hell is Godor? Hold on. What is Godor? Is it Goldor or is it something else? Godor. Huh. Go door. Huh. Hold it. Get back to this. Skip this. La, 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 la. All right. Hang on. Can I get anything from him? Ah, it's gonna be the same shit. It is. Ah, I thought there was something different. Huh. Ah! Ugh. I, sc I screwed up. I went too far. No. saying Godor, not Goldor. You notice that? Why is he saying, why is he not saying Goldor? Because he said deary deary me perfectly. It's not like he's slurring his, the words. So, okay, I think it's the spell. Objection! There. There's a critical contradiction in this testimony. Uh, we're all aware of that, Sir Blue Knight. This contradiction is between your so-called desire to find the truth and the fact that you are interrogating a parrot. 
That's not what I'm talking about, Inquisitor. There's a contradiction here that makes one thing particularly clear. The fact that we have really clearly all made a wrong assumption. How so? Luke, can you ask Cracker to repeat the incantation once more? R what you are? Go door! Go door! G Go door? According to the Grand Grimoire, the name of the Goldby Transmutation spell is Gold Door. Now, Inquisitor, it would seem to me that the spell we've just heard is in fact a different one entirely. Well, I never. Unbelievable! Goldor and Godor. Objection! Oh! Ha! Ah! This, this is ridiculous. That wretched bird must have misheard the incantation. Objection! Oh, oh, oh. Cracker is able to imitate sounds perfectly. Ha! The incantation was indeed misheard, but only by the people hearing it. Objection! The victim was found already in his golden state. Ha! Ah! That is proof enough that the Goldor spell was used. Objection! Whoa! But you're forgetting that Cracker heard this incantation after that spell had already taken place. Ha! Ah! Which means it's entirely possible that Goldor's spell was used as well. In other words, another spell besides the gold transmutation magic must also have been used! Oh! Uh, another spell that we haven't considered? Now, the next question that needs to be asked is... What is this Godor spell? Objection! Utter foolishness! This is absurd! As convenient as it would be for you, there's no way that a spell by the name of Godor exists! Oh, Mr. Wright! Oh, what is it? I found it! The page about the spell Godor! It's listed in the Grand Grimoire, right here! It... exists? What? Oh, rumble, rumble to the motherfucking rumble, rumble, baby! Order, order, I demand order! Just like I thought, Cracker remembered it exactly. But then, what kind of magic is this Godor? Well, my lord, the Grand Grimoire describes it in the following way. Godor creates a portal on two sides of green-colored walls. The portal will disappear after five minutes. Creates a portal on green-colored walls? A portal spell? Godor! Oh! Oh! I just shat myself. Oh, uh, aren't you a lucky man? It appears even the Grand Grimoire is on your side. However, there's a fatal flaw in your explanation. I'm not wearing adult diapers! <laughs> huh? What? What flaw is that, Inquisitor? It is really quite simple. Think back to how the alchemist's study looked at the time of the incident. Do you remember any green walls? Because I do not. There were none. All the walls were coated with white plaster. Ha! Ah! In other words... Ha! Ah! It was impossible to use Godor in that room! I too have visited that alchemist's study since the incident. I remember very well that the walls of that room were a dull shade of white. The little theory was interesting, Sir Knight in Blue, but it has been proven to be nothing more than that. A mere wild guess. As long as you cannot prove that this Godor spell was used, your little theory shall be considered no further. Ha! Ah. Smell my balls. In all honesty, I was very surprised to learn of such a spell's existence. However, as long as it is impossible to have used this spell at the crime scene, your deduction leads us nowhere. So let me ask you now. Yes, Your Honor? Do you, perchance, have any proof that you could show us? Can you prove that it was feasible for the witch to have used Godor in that room? This is no coincidence. That spell must have been used at the crime scene. Why? But do I have the proof that it was even possible to use Godor? Of course you have proof! It's been on my mind for a while. That inexplicable mark. It has been the evidence that ties up all the loose ends. Ha! The defense wishes to present evidence. Impossible! The determination in your eyes made me think you would. Now then, we shall allow the defense to present its evidence to the court. Please present the proof that the spell Gordor was used at the scene of the crime. <laughs> 